Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it guys. I'm hoping this is going to be tasty. These guys have uh, been very solid after around these parts for a while. Uh, so finally being able to get my hands on a couple of these. Uh, this is the second one I think that we've done. This is the Vale Brewings They're out of Richmond, Virginia. This is their super super natural natural creature creature. Hmm. <laughs> and we're gonna and from here on out we're gonna call it SSNNCC or SNC for short. <laughs> There's an echo in here. Super super natural natural creature creature. Oh okay. Alright, let's uh Jump over to Untap because this is a new release, guys, and uh, I don't think they have done this uh, version of this beer before. 8% ABV on this one, guys, and on the bottom it said packaged on 02022024. Real easy to figure that out. No code, no best buy, no best before, no before you're dead, or whatever. Uh, Drink it at your leisure. The date's on it. You make that decision. <laughs> Don't let nobody else do that for you. Alright guys. No IBUs are given here. Double dry hopped hazy double IPA. Brewed with a blend of base malts, flaked oats, and flaked wheat. Then heavily hopped with a complex blend of Citra, Galaxy, Enigma, Motika, Kahatu, Amarillo, and mosaic hops. My golly, my golly, look at how many did they put in there? Ten? Citra, Galaxy, Enigma, Motika, Kahatu, Amarillo, and Mosaic. Seven different hops. This ought to blow your hair off your head. You ought to be bald headed after you drink it. The sibling, I mean, we added some Simcoe and Mosaic Cryo. Eight, nine. I said ten right off the bat. They probably slipped another one in there somewhere. The sibling beer to Mega Beast Freak. I don't think I've had that one, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely positive I have not had it because this is the only second one I've ever had from these guys. Complex, creamy, hot flavors of honeysuckle, fruit loops, clementines, overripe melon, and Sunny D. Everybody knows what that is. It's orange juice. Or close. Or artificial orange juice, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it may be real stuff. I, I, I don't drink a lot of orange juice anymore, God. My orange juice comes in a little can right here. Yeah, that's homie's orange juice. So, pictures here, God, it looks like, it looks outstanding. I mean, it looks thick, cloudy, almost milkshake-esque. And I don't see any mention of any lactose uh, here on the description or on the can. All right. It says here, please remove the label before recycling. I've never seen that before on a beer. Hmm, that may be easier said than done if I've ever tried to get a if you ever try to get a label off of a can or a bottle. Usually that doesn't work too well. Comes off a little bitty pieces. All right, into the glass we go, and I'm dripping. No, we don't want to do that. It's so easy to make a mess. All right, guys, we're going to spin it around, swirly swirl. I guess I'm going to say this again. I'm going to mention it again. These beers are highly sought after, from, especially from around these parts, because of the distribution is very tiny. Inch and a half finger on that. 
uh, it, it may go north or, or somewhere else, but um, it, it has a, it's not available around here unless you go to, as far as I know, one place. That looks like super chunky orange juice in the glass. Super thick, not hazy. This, this is cloudy. Not hazy, cloudy. Super hazy. That looks awesome, guys. Absolutely outstanding appearance on this beer here. To the nose, we go. Oh man! Again, the the hop aroma. There is just it's a smorgasbord, guys. There's so many different hops. Here. You can smell everything. Grapefruit, yeah. Pineapple, yeah. Mango, yeah. Thumb fruit, yeah. Peaches, yeah. Melon, yeah. What can't you smell? That would maybe be a harder one. I don't smell any blackberries. There is some berry-esque quality to it, but I don't smell any blackberries. So. That's awesome, guys. That smells fantastic. Uh, on a scale of 10, the aroma is a 12. Let's dive in. Cheers. I mean, guys, it's, it's perfect. I can't think of a single thing that I would say I would change. It's to this or to that. It's not enough of this or it's not enough of that. Bliss in a glass for this boy. That's tasty. Super easy to drink. It's like you're drinking, actually like you're drinking some kind of juice. Juicy juice. That's uh, that's what this guy's looking for, guys. I mean, uh, it doesn't get a whole lot better. Now that we got the final in there, we do have some particulates floating around in there. And I, I don't know if y'all can tell that. that. It looks like some kind of frog, or I don't know if it's a frog. It looks like a frog. But anyway, supernatural, some kind of supernatural frog creature on there. Uh, Anyway, guys, super tasty, super impressive. Yes, I would spend my money on this. And speaking of spending money on it, this beer is $7.99. It's $8. This is an $8 can of beer. I would choose this over the $9, 7% that we had a couple days ago. So, uh, this one is, is cooking all the bells. Where that one did not, as far as mouthfeel, appearance, aroma, cost, ABV, a lot of strikes against it for the cost. So, gotta be a, a happy combination of, of everything working together and one thing not being out of whack, like the cost. Alright, guys, let's go sip on it. Be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for well over an hour, about an hour and a half now. A little bit of lacing has left on here smorgasbord of hop aroma uh, it is a plethora of hop taste in this beer guys I mean I don't think I've ever seen this many hops in one beer uh, and it, even adding mosaic cryo on top of that for good measure I mean it's got it all guys I mean if you can't find a taste that you're looking for in this beer it's super tasty guys I mean probably gonna go a little bit against the grade on this one because this one checked all the boxers for this guy uh, not too heavy being 8% uh, very nice mouth feel every tropical fruit note that you can think of is in this beer if, if you want to search for it I check that. Most of them, guys. I mean, I'm not getting any banana. I mean, I mean, you could go 180 the opposite way. Well, I don't taste this, but I don't taste that. You know what I'm going. Final choke. <sighs> that is so good. Super sweet to me.
and I don't mean that in a lactose sweet, uh, checked all the boxes, all the bells and whistles we've got. It's a 10 for me. 100, uh, and I don't think it's got anything on, no, no score on the beer either because it's too new. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.18, which is a minus. I mean, I'm going two notches above that. But only 189 people have commented. So, with this many hops, if you can't find what you're looking for and what I've seen and tasted and smelt, yeah, it works for me, guys. I would absolutely buy this beer again if I had eight bucks to spend on one. What do you think? All right, guys. If you've had it, let me know. Super, super, natural, natural, creature, creature, S-S-N-N-C-C. Have you had it? Let me know. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the bread.